Chapter 1. Reborn. You are listening at FameTV.com. Chapter 1. Reborn. In a certain village, in a certain house, a woman with tomato red long hair and violet eyes was sitting on a chair, happily stroking her slightly bulging stomach. She was however completely unaware that the soul of an ancient female cultivator is currently in the process of integrating into one of her children. A child that fate never had preordained to be born. Erg, where am I? I feel so, mortal. How many millennia ago was it since I felt this weak? For now, I should try to assess my current situation. Let's sort through my mind and see what I can find. What is the last thing I can remember? As someone who has reached the highest level of cultivation our heroine naturally has an absurdly powerful mind, however. Slow. Why are my thoughts so slow? I can't even get a second thought process running smoothly. First my strength and now even my thoughts. This sucks. Well, whatever. I at least managed to remember my last memory before I came wherever the F asterisk I am right now. I burnt my last few days of lifespan together with my soul to get rid of that annoying demon ancestor who wanted to harvest my soul after my death. Fufu serves that brat right. That happens when you disrespect your elders. Anyway, in conclusion, I'm 100% dead. So why don't I feel dead? For strong cultivators it isn't completely impossible to survive burning one's remaining lifespan, however burning the soul usually is a 100% death sentence. Well first of all let's try, divine sense, great that one seems to be gone as well. Divine sense is unlocked when someone ascends from being a demigod to being a full-fledged god. Alright let's take a step back then, heavenly sense. Yep gone. Heavenly Sense is the downgraded version of Divine Sense and is acquired when someone ascends from being an immortal to being a demigod. Next one, I guess. Immortal Sense, come on, at least give me something I can work with. Yet another downgraded version that marks the difference between a cultivator and an immortal. Spirit Sense. Sigh. Ha. Although I was expecting this, it's still rather depressing. Guess I will just have to accept that I somehow was downgraded back to a mortal. Whatever, this isn't the first time I have overcome ridiculous odds just to emerge victorious at the end. This time I at least don't have any crazy cannibals, demons, cultists, or fanatics breathing down my neck. Well, at least not yet. I managed to rise from mortal to god once, shouldn't be that hard to do a second time. For now, let me check out the situation in a mortal way. Then for the first time in this new life, our heroine did something she hasn't done in a long time. She, instead of using her sense skills to scout the surroundings, attempts to use her eyes just to. What the hell is this weak-ass body? I can't even open my eyes, fail miserably. Okay, 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 calm down. No need to panic. I got this. Smell. Nothing. Sound. Something muffled in the background and a rhythmic booming, better than nothing, but still not really helpful. Taste. Nope. Touch. Um. I'm swimming. Wait a moment. I'm swimming in something. Most of my five senses don't work. That rhythmic booming. Is that a f asterisk ing heartbeat? Am I a f asterisk ing baby? And thus, starts the story of Yuna Uzumaki, previously known as Yuna Kayanipagos, goddess of ice. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.